Hi everyone, I'm Tammy, the creator of the blog and this YouTube channel called Nutmeg Notebook. And this is where I share with you all about a whole food plant-based lifestyle. As many of you know, I love to do product reviews and share with you all the wonderful products that I find that really make this lifestyle easier. For years, I have loved my Breville Smart Oven Air and you know, Tom and I use it every day. I've often been asked if I would do reviews of some other convection style slash air fryers. And I said, well, I'm not going to go out and purchase more because I already have the one that I need. Well, as luck would have it, I was offered to receive the Ninja Foodie Digital Air Fry Oven uh, in order to do a review of it and a cooking demonstration. And so I thought that would be great. The reason I was interested is because it's a little bit smaller footprint than the Breville. It's also less expensive. And I know many of you have told us that you would love to have a Breville, but either you don't have space in your kitchen for it or the cost of it was just too high. The nice thing about this is that it is a space saver. It has what they call flip away functionality, which saves you up to 50% of your counter space. So when you're not using it, look at this, you guys, it flips up. And so then it's only taking up about eight inches or so of your counter space when you're not using it. So this is fantastic for people who have small kitchens or if you just need to get it up out of the way, you know, so that you can utilize more counter space when you're batch cooking, if you're a batch cooker like me. So anyway, we just took it out of the box and I just want to show with, share with you what came in it. So of course, you're going to get a manual. This happens to be the SP101 model. And then um, a little... Uh, cheat sheet to help you have a smoke-free experience. Uh, this is just telling you, you know, don't set it on top of your stove where it might get melted or something. And then this, I really enjoy when they do this, when they give you the kind of little cheat sheet that uh, gives you all the particulars about how each function works and the times that you um, need to know for cooking, different things that you want to cook in it. And then it came with some nice accessories as well. So you get a sheet pan, which is great. You can utilize that. And then let's just open it up. The handle is here on the side and it just opens like this. And then we have the air fryer basket and you can see it's pretty good size capacity. It's not as large as the Breville, but much larger than the standalone air fryers. And then of course you're going to get the um, oven rack and there is a crumb tray as well, which is really nice. Okay, so let's just give you a different view of what it's like when it goes in the flip away position. And it's very easy to flip up. The base stays in place and it's quite easy to just flip it up on its side and then back down. Another thing that I really like is when you have it in the upright position, the bottom of it actually opens up and that way you have easy access to the inside of it to clean it. I think that is a really cool feature. Just make it so much easier to get in there and to be able to wipe everything down and keep it clean. Okay, so now I wanna get out some potatoes, some corn on the cob, and maybe a veggie burger, and let's see how this works. Okay, everybody, I'm ready to test out how the Ninja Foodie Digital Air Fryer works for frying, air frying one of my favorite things, which is potatoes. So these are some Yukon Gold potatoes. They were really small ones. And I previously baked them and then put them in the refrigerator to chill. So when I bake them, 400 degrees for about an hour, depending on how big they are. Then I take them out when they're cold from the fridge and I just cut them into quarters. And I'm going to go ahead and put them on the air fryer tray. And I'm going to just utilize 
about half of the sheet of the, or the rack right now because I want to leave room to add some things after these have cooked a little bit. Now these take about 25 minutes to get nice and crispy the way I like them. I am not seasoning them and I do not use any oil. That's the wonderful thing about the air fryer is you can get crispy, crunchy food and you don't have to use oil and it'll turn out delicious. Now, if you wanted to, you could season these with garlic powder and onion powder, but um, I'm going to be dipping them in some oil-free, uh, salt-free ketchup, and um, they're gonna be delicious. Okay, now, after about the first 10 minutes, then I'm going to um, go ahead and add my corn on the cob, and I have a couple frozen uh, veggie burgers, and then just the last five minutes, I'm going to add the asparagus. So I'm just gonna come around to the front and show you how to set the temperature. Okay, so I just, before I get this started, I just wanna point out to you that if you're going to air fry anything that's going to be drippy or messy, you can put this, you can put the sheet pan underneath the air fryer rack. Um, just to catch any drips and that'll help make cleanup much easier as well. Now this isn't going to be messy what I'm making so I'm not going to bother doing that. Also just with my air frying experience um, with other, my other air fryer, I never preheat it. I just go ahead and usually do for like 400 degrees for um, most foods like this and it seems to work out really well for me. So I'm going to start the potatoes first and just with all my air frying experience, I never preheat the air fryer. I just always put everything in cold and then start it. Cold oven and just start it. So the air fryer rack is going to go on that first uh, little ledge there and we're going to close this. So here's how we are going to um, get it started. So you're just going to push this button to turn it on. And then the, this dial here is what you use to select which um, function you want to use. So there's toast and bagel, there's a keep warm, dehydrate, bake, air broil, air roast, and of course air fry, which is what we're going to do today. Then to set the time, you click on time cook and it flashes and then you just use the knob to adjust the time and we do want 20 minutes and then push temperature or also darkness if you're doing toast and then again you just use this dial to select the temperature and I want 400 so it's set there and then you just push in on the start button to start and it says preheat here so it's telling us that it's in preheat mode it hasn't reached 400 degrees yet but I always start my air fryer um, cold it's just how I just how I do it so in uh, in about five minutes I'm going to add the corn and the veggie burgers and I'll show you how that goes okay you guys it's actually been 13 minutes because we were busy messing with camera um, and so I'm going to open this and it does not pause when you open the door but I'm going to add the corn get that in there and then I have two frozen veggie burgers that I'm going to add and because this is a smaller unit and it's so close to the heating element it may not take as long as um, I'm used to and I'm gonna go ahead and shut it. And then when there's just like five minutes left, then I'm gonna add my asparagus. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put the asparagus in. So we're just gonna open this and pull that out. Oh look, the potatoes are really starting to look good. You can hear they've got that crispy sound going on. That makes me happy. I'm just gonna Get the asparagus in here. I just want to just warm it up, really. It won't be crispy, it'll just make it more tender. And I'm gonna just turn these corn over. Just 
like that just to get the top a little more done. And I don't usually turn over the um, veggie burgers. So, so this is actually looking pretty good. So the light came on because it's counting down. Okay, so it just finished and see how it says hot on here and then it has a little symbol for heat over here so that you know that this is hot. And let's just check and make sure that everything is done. Oh, that looks great. The corn is nice. The potatoes look good. So I'm gonna pull it out and go on the other side and um, put everything on my plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate it. This is actually gonna be our lunch today uh, since we've been filming this morning. And can you hear that? How crispy, crunchy these are, it's great. I have to fight with Tom for the potatoes. These are my favorite to do them like this. So it worked really well. It took about the same amount of time that the Breville takes, so I'm pleased with that. And he used this to get the, the burgers going. And of course, we're gonna add some ketchup and some mustard to this. And it's gonna be delicious. So um, it worked great. I would say that the air frying capabilities uh, were very similar to the um, Breville. The time took about the same amount of time. It didn't seem to have hot spots and everything came out great. And it actually has pretty good capacity. So much better than the small um, standalone air fryers. So, um, so, so far I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna try um, making toast in it because we do make toast for our grandchildren and um, I also want to try um, baking in it and um, we can do some more videos and show you how it performs on those as well. Okay you guys, so I'd have to say that I'm pretty impressed with the Ninja Foodi air fryer. It did equally as well as the Breville Smart Oven Air. It did not seem to have hot spots. The potatoes turned out crispy. The corn looks amazing. The asparagus, the veggie burgers. So um, it also has a pretty good capacity. It's slightly smaller than the Breville Smart Oven Air. And um, I'm going to try making toast in it because our grandkids, uh, we do make toast for them sometimes. And I will try baking in it and see how it does in the, uh, for baking. Also, it does uh, accommodate a 13 inch pizza. So if you do pizzas, it would work well for that. Um, I'm gonna try baking muffins in it and um, see what else it can do. So uh, look for some more videos in the future. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you go over to the blog at nutmegnotebook.com and subscribe there. We have hundreds of recipes there that we have not made videos for yet. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Tammy and I help you get healthy and stay healthy one meal at a time. Bye.